Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are back talking about the practical needs and benefits of La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. You know, even when you say Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala nabiyyina Muhammad is going to help and ease difficulties and help you face challenges. I know that if you are really related to Allah and with Allah, Allah will help and be there to help you. And uh, as Allah says in the glorious Quran, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ And remember me, so I may remember you. You know, if we are in close contact with Allah, if we know La ilaha illallah, it will help us so much and will save us in this life. Just like this person that I told you about and many, many others, even sick people who got so sick and they got out of this because of the remembrance of Allah. They turned to Allah and we know the dua of the difficulties and crises, catastrophes. La ilaha illallah al-halim al-azim. La ilaha illallah rabb al-arsh al-kareem. La ilaha illallah rabb al-samawati wa rabb al-ard wa rabb al-arsh al-azim. If you turn to Allah and say these words, La ilaha illallah, and repeat that, obviously things will ease. Because you are so committed to this word and Allah recognizes this. And of course, when you turn to him, he will not let you down. When you raise your hands towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He, glory be to Him, will respond and not turn anyone empty-handed as you raise the hands towards Him. It is so important that if we do this, we will have the dignity in our life. If we turn to Allah every time with the word of Tawheed, we will not see human beings as the ones who affect our life. We don't feel like being subjugated, being harassed, being put to humility because of others. Even if we face difficulties and even if someone uh, puts you unjustly through persecution, but you are standing fast and, and strong with your Iman. No arrogance. This is, there's a difference between arrogance and dignity and honor. But this word of Tawheed saves your honor and dignity in front of all these challenges that we face on a daily basis or at times, from time to time. And of course, you know, it will give us satisfaction. If, for example, we face something or we lose something or we lose even a beloved person, and then we think of Allah, we get compensated for that. We really have this satisfaction and submission. Nothing would, would move even uh, inside us. Yes, we are human beings. We might cry just like the Prophet, peace be upon him, cried when his son Ibrahim died. But it will not shake our life and turn it into a miserable one because we lost a loved person or we lost money or we got out of business or we did not pass the tests or we were injured or somehow we had some difficulty and hardship. But then if we turn to Allah, Allah will compensate us. You know, and even we find the satisfaction inside our heart. Just like in the hadith, مَنْ تَرَكَ شَيْئًا لِلَّهِ عَوَّضَهُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا مِّنْ If you leave something and abandon something for the sake of Allah, Allah will compensate for you something that is even better. If, for example, one turns away his eyes from looking into a haram thing that was not allowed for us, like a man looking into a woman or a woman, looking into a man, then you'd find if you turn away and close your eyes, you know, from looking, you'd find the sweetness of Iman inside. Then you'd be so happy. So Allah is kind and immediately gives us the reward in this life. If we leave or abandon something for Allah's sake, 
Allah will compensate for us something that is better. So this is where Iman comes and submission because we have this word La ilaha illallah with us. It helps. Just like we said earlier regarding the saving of La ilaha illallah of the person on the day of judgment as he comes with the card with La ilaha illallah written on it and 99 records of bad deeds each one is extended as far as the eye can see and yet when this card was put in one side of the scale it weighs out the other side with 99 records full of all the bad and terrible deeds that's the value of la ilaha illallah if we continue on it it saves us in this world as well as in the hereafter and if we continue getting closer and closer we find that we need it it keeps us straight on the path that is set for us it keeps us from falling into disobedience and committing wrong things because a person is supposed to keep himself or herself on the straight path and of course we are in a struggle against some of the bad evil intentions that would come from time to time in our hearts we might like to steal to drink unlawful things to leave and abandon a duty for example to get angry and commit some something wrong or get someone else's right and so on and so forth but if we remember Allah if we know that this is going to be against us and we'd have to pay back this either in this life or in the hereafter then would you know come back and and stop and refrain from doing it just like Allah says وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا in describing the believers وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَمْ يُصِرُوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ When they do something wrong, they immediately remember and they repent, they turn to Allah and they even think of Allah even before falling into the mistake. And even when they fall into that mistake, they soon remember Allah. As Allah says regarding Ibrahim alayhi salam, Inna Ibrahim la awwahun halim. Verily Ibrahim is someone who comes back to Allah time after time. This is awwah. And halim is someone who is so kind and so perseverant and patient against anger and when being provoked this person keeps a very firm and quiet position and he doesn't react terribly or quickly to something that provokes him it is so important for us when we are in this position of la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah it helps us and gets us where we want and keeps us on the track many examples have taken place for people and for nations who turn to Allah and Allah accept them and keeps on giving them all what they need because of la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah it is this great value of la ilaha illallah that keeps us going in and praying upon the prophet peace be upon him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam whenever we remember him that is helping us that's why in dua for example we need to turn to allah and to praise him and also to send our greetings and blessings upon the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam in order for our dua to be accepted so we are actually applying la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah in this life in order to continue the blessings and 
we obey the commandments of Allah. And I know a friend of mine who was saying again the same thing when he turns to Allah by obeying his parents, by being kind to his mother in particular. And he said, at one time I had so difficult situation that I had to pay money and I don't have it. And I uh, went to my mom, I even borrowed more money from a friend of mine. And I went to my mother and I said, mother, I know that you need money, so please take this from me. Because he knows that Allah is going to open ways for him beyond what he would expect and would compensate him for something better. So he went to his mom and said that to her and she knows that he doesn't have really money and she knows that he would probably have borrowed it. But still, after his insistence, she accepted that and she said, go, may Allah provide for you even more and more. May he open the doors for you of rizq and provision. And he said, immediately after I left her, on the way before I reached my home, a call came to me on my cell phone and someone said, look, I've got this money for you. I'm returning and I'm giving it to you. And he said, instead of giving my mother 5,000 reals, 50,000 reals came to me before even I reached my home and my family. And I was able to pay back some of the things that I had some obligation to do towards other people. The value of la ilaha illallah and turning to the one who is so generous and so kind. We don't need to see the evidence time after time of Allah's help and mercy and kindness and favors upon his own people because the others think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is a very, may God forgive us to say this, he's so uh, hateful and, and punishing and doesn't like people. He wants to put us through difficulty. No, he wanted to purify us. He wants us to be clarified just like the real gold at times might be put through fire to get the filth out of it and only the real gold stays. The rest, the iron, the filth will go out. We need to go through this and even this road which we take to implement La ilaha illallah will be so helpful for us in this life. It is so important that we find the benefits and the practical need for everything when we testify and bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. I will continue inshallah in the coming episodes with more and on la ilaha illallah and its effects and benefits and how we can maintain it in our lives in order to be saved in this life as well as in the hereafter. There's not a mother in this world who would watch her child cry in the street, stand and watch her weep. There's not a mother in this world who wouldn't give up her own life for the life of her child. There's not a mother in this world who wouldn't be happy to have a home for her family. Where are your homes? Where are your families? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are back talking about the practical needs and benefits of La ilaha illallah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. You know, even when you say Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala nabiyyina Muhammad is going to help 
and ease difficulties and help you face challenges. I know that if you are really related to Allah and with Allah, Allah will help and be there to let you down. When you raise your hands towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He, glory be to Him, will respond and not turn anyone empty-handed as you raise the hands towards Him. It is so important that if we do this, we will have the dignity in our life. If we turn to Allah every time with the word of Tawheed, we will not see human beings as the ones who affect our life. We don't feel like being subjugated, being harassed, being put to humility because of others. Even if we face difficulties and even if someone uh, puts you unjustly through persecution, but you are standing fast and, and strong with your Iman. No arrogance. This is, there's a difference between arrogance and dignity and honor. But this word of Tawheed saves your honor and dignity. Know the dua of the difficulties and crises, catastrophes. La ilaha illallah al-halim al-azim. La ilaha illallah rabbu al-arsh al-kareem. La ilaha illallah rabbu al-samawati wa rabbu al-ard wa rabbu al-arsh al-azim. If you turn to Allah and say these words, La ilaha illallah, and repeat that, obviously, things will ease because you are so committed to this word and Allah recognizes this and of course when you turn to him he will not help you and uh, as Allah says in the glorious Quran فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ and remember me so I may remember you you know if we are in close contact with Allah if we know لا إله إلا الله it will help us so much and will save us in this life just like this person that I told you about and many, many others, even sick people who got so sick and they got out of this because of the remembrance of Allah. They turned to Allah and we 